So I had two choices. I can either wear my Black Widow shirt or I can actually support my girl Harley Quinn and wear my Harley Quinn Suicide Squad shirt. So I decided to wear the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad shirt. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storm. If you're finding me for the very first time, be sure to go ahead and click that thumbs up and subscribe button. If you're a long time viewer and not yet a subscriber, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button because I could really use all the support to help build this channel. So today's topic, today's topic I thought was an interesting one. It's one that I got on a super chat last night in one of my live streams on one of the episodes of Storms Live. And I wanted to do a full length video on this because it's a very, very good topic. Which one is gonna be more successful? Birds of Prey or the Black Widow standalone movie? Now, here's the thing, here's the kicker, right? Cause right away you're probably wondering, well, it's gonna be Black Widow. However, Harley Quinn has a massive following. You go to any comic book convention and you're gonna see like 90% of the girls there cosplaying as Harley Quinn. Hell, some of the guys cosplay as Harley Quinn. Her comic book sells well. She has a new animated show on the Disney Universe streaming app. So Harley Quinn is a very popular character. Black Widow, in the comic book sphere is not a massively popular character. Nowhere near as popular as Harley. Harley is leaps and bounds more popular than Black Widow. However, people love the Black Widow character in the MCU, people love Scarlett Johansson, and you have the MCU brand. That's a very important thing. So this is really comes down to a debate of what's gonna do better, the Harley Quinn popularity or the brand of the MCU? And for me personally, you have to lean on that brand. You have to lean on, because lately, that brand is unbreakable. We can all agree that Harley Quinn and Black Widow is more popular than Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is just not that big of a character. I'm, I'm sure she has a lot of great fans, but when it comes down to it, Harley Quinn is leaps and down, bounds more popular than Captain Marvel, and Black Widow in the MCU is way more popular than Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. We can all, I think, sit there and agree with that. Now, I have to tell you, if it wasn't for the MCU brand, Captain Marvel would not have made a billion dollars. So we're looking at Black Widow. We're looking at Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow, first standalone film. We're going to get backstory. We're possibly going to set up a new Black Widow. We're going to get Taskmaster. How's this going to fit into the MCU? Is there going to be any curveballs? There's so many different things that is going on in this movie that people are intrigued to see it. Should this movie have come out four years ago? Absolutely, but it's coming out now. You have the MCU brand to back it up. That brand is unbreakable. It is, as of right now, it is unbreakable. You can put any movie in there with the MCU brand and you're gonna make at least $6 million. At the very least, $6 million. And lately, you're gonna be making a billion dollars. Where you look at Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad made some money. But the thing is, a lot of people didn't like that movie. People love Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. That's one reason why we're getting the Birds of Prey movie. But let's not kid ourselves, guys. The trailers haven't been good. The posters haven't been good. They're alienating a lot of fans of the Batman universe with the Black Mask and Victor Zaz characters. Like, uh, Cassandra Cain, like, like, who the hell is she? Like, she's nothing like her comic book counterpart. So let's not forget, they're, they're, they're alienating their core fan base. Yes, your, your Harley fans are there. And let's not shit myself. Right, I'm going to go see both. Okay, so, so both is going to get my money. But I find this very interesting, and I'm going to tell you, I think Black Widow is going to do leaps and bounds better than Birds of Prey. And apparently a lot of you guys think so too, because last night I put a poll up on the channel, and in that poll I said, hey everyone, if you could only see one of these movies, which would it be? We had 414 votes, and 85% of you said Black Widow. So that tells me right there that the majority of the people would much rather see Black Widow. People much rather see Scarlett Johansson finally get her single movie and see how this progresses the MCU. We can look at Birds of Prey, but is Birds of Prey going to progress the story in the DCEU? What is the story in the DCEU? We don't know because they don't know. They're just throwing shit against the wall. Shazam, a lot of people liked it. How did it progress the story in the DCEU? You know how it progressed the story? It didn't. That's because 
they want to try to stay away from the DCEU. They want to have their cake and eat it too. It comes down to which movie has a better word of mouth. And right now, the Black Widow trailer looks leaps and bounds better than the, the Birds of Prey trailer. Scarlett Johansson, she, she's coming back as Black Widow. People like Margot Robbie. I love Margot Robbie. But let's not kid ourselves, guys. No matter how you look at this and which angles you come at this, Black Widow is going to come up on top. And when Black Widow comes out, we're going to compare it to the Birds of Prey numbers. And I'm sorry to say, I, I'm very confident that Black Widow is going to be far superior and not only film quality but also at the box office but i wonder what you guys think be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below until next time as always i am robert storms and that's my opinion